Hello everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B again. And today, coming at you with the third ClipChamp.com tutorial that I wanted to put together for you. Now the tutorial we're doing today uh, is using a feature that ClipChamp.com offers that's called Overlay. Now to kind of explain what an overlay is, it's technically anything that you're laying on top of a previous track. So if I have my track here, and I add some kind of a graphic in one of the areas here, or if I add some kind of a text, anything that you're laying on top of is actually called an overlay. Uh, they are calling this particular feature an overlay. That's what they're calling it, so that's what we're gonna call it. And it's an effective way of creating a transition that's a little bit more colorful than a standard transition. So I'm gonna call it a transition in this video, even though ClipChamp's calling it a overlay. They do have another feature called the transition that we will get to in a later video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the Anchor video. This is the one that we've worked on on the other installments. And to bring you up to speed, video number one was a lot more lengthy. It was about importing your content, how to place stuff onto the timeline, how to trim your video, uh, how to basically assemble a video, and then how to export. Video number two that we did recently was about adding a graphic, a graphic overlay, uh, either some kind of an opening sequence or an opening title, or adding a thirds at the bottom of the screen with your name. And today's video will be on using the feature that they call the overlay. So if you look on the left hand side here of the menu, there is an option that they call overlay. Now it technically is an overlay uh, and they've got a couple of options here. Some of it is just to dress up the scene and others are to be used in my opinion as transition effects. And here's what I mean. So right now the way that the video plays uh, is that it basically shows the words that we added, the package is opening, then it's a hard cut to the product slopping by, and then another hard cut to the product rotating. So the overlays and the way that I use them on clipchamp.com is as a colorful transition effect. Now these are to be used um, if you're trying to make a video that's more upbeat, a little bit more exciting, you wanna add a little bit of flair to it, this is where this would be used. So for example, we're gonna go ahead and use the option here, this one's called title, we're gonna drop it onto the onto the timeline here. Now the way ClipChamp works is, is whatever is on top, uh, on the top line is on top of the previous stuff. And I'm gonna place it between this cut. So instead of it being a hard cut, and to show you again how it looks, the hard cut means it goes from this directly to this. So by adding this overlay or a transition effect is what I'm gonna call it because that's what it technically is. Um, the way that it works now is once the text is done showing, you'll have a graphic and then bang, it's to the next one. So it kind of adds a transition from one cut to another cut. Now when we move into the next one here, it's kind of a rotating shot. Uh, they do have an option here that's called clean with a little bit of a rotation. If we want to add that in to add a little bit more dynamic, dyna, dynamicism, make it more fun, uh, we would add this effect. Now on some of these, you do have the ability to change the color so well, as well. So if you have a color scheme that you're looking to stay to, you can adjust it. I do like uh, the white and the gray. On this other effect here, currently it has a like a purpley color. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to match. So we're gonna use the gray color here as well. So the way that it works then now is just to kind of play it so you can see it, we've got transition there, then we've got another transition that's gonna take place, and now we have a rotational shot. Now for this last one here, let's go ahead and add something that's a little bit more busy. Let's go ahead and try, uh, Groovy might be too busy for me, let's use this statement over here. And again, we're just gonna drop it in between the effect. Now you do have the ability to adjust the length of the transition if you wanted to. If you wanted it to be really long, you could do that, uh, or if you wanted it to be shorter. I'm gonna leave it as is, and again, colors I'm gonna change to gray just because it's a color scheme that we have. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how it works. So again, it opens, we have a transition effect or the overlay as they called it. We have the next one that comes up here and then on the last cut here, we have it again. So it's just another way to kind of polish up a change from one scene to another. And so I hope that this video has been enjoyable. I encourage you to try it yourself and I thank you for watching.